And I don't want to let none of you tomb robbers into my house. Mm -mm. I can't trust none of you summer bitches. Mm -mm. None of you. Mm -mm. That's why I always be alone and shit. Mm -mm. But I can't trust none of these goddamn tomb robbers. Mm -mm. How would you feel if you was an Egyptian person? An ancient Egyptian living in the modern world today? Mm -mm. How would you feel about European white people? Mm -mm. Who got all of your mm -mm, household things in their house now? So, mm -mm. And had an auction and paid so much money to uh, own something that belongs to you mm -mm. and your ancestors. Mm -mm. And now, mm -mm. you know, you can't go in your house mm -mm, the way it used to be. Mm -mm. Like it originally was. It's not like that anymore. Now these. Mm -mm. Strange people have now mm -mm, overtaken your house and overtaken your whole country, and and it's totally different from its original form that it should be in. And you look at your old historical record, your history, and you look at your old house, and it ain't the way it used to be. Mm -mm. It ain't the way it's supposed to be. Mm -mm -mm from the divine command, how God originally had placed it. So, I mean, something went wrong. I mean, you just, now you come into this European Egypt. Mm -mm. This Hellenized version of the story. Mm -mm. From the Greek revival, mm -mm. from the Scottish rites from Great Britain. Mm -mm. From the British Museum. Mm -mm which now holds all of your household items from Egypt, from Kemet. Mm -mm. In Great Britain, and in Berlin, Germany, and the Louvre in France, and in Spain, and Cartagena. Mm -mm. She's lost the sepulchre or the burial place of one of your ancestral gods, mm -mm. Minkari. Min Kari is the Min God of the third pyramid in Egypt. They dropped him off the coast of Spain somewhere in a shipwreck, you know, in the 1800s. I think it's 1828. And they lost his coffin, lost his body at the sea. And I mean, they said his coffin sarcophagus weighed two metric tons. Two tons, which is like 4,000 pounds. That's what caused the, the ship in a storm to lose it at sea. Something that belonged in that great pyramid at that house of my ancestors. That's my house. And they have desecrated my house. And took all the things all the bit, took all of the bone, boundary stones and removed them out of their places. That's something they weren't supposed to do. So mm, the Europeans have come and Hellenized the world and they have taken all the treasures out of Egypt and even mm, there's so many atrocities to the, the Egyptian dead people, which they call the mummies. Mm. They used mummies as fuel for their trains and their new... They have done things to the mummies. Mm -mm. Removing them out of their burial places, burning them for for lo locomotive fuel like coal for their in their their engines for the industrial world. They fueled their country off of the treasures of beach mm -mm. and in India, everywhere they have invaded. You know. Like a wild band of people who have vandalized every beautiful place on earth that God has. People had reigned there for at least a thousand years. Mm -mm. Christ-like on the earth. Mm -mm. And then after the thousand year period, they have come from the Northwest Passage. Mm -mm. And vandalized all of the God mm -mm. works on the earth. Mm -mm. And now it's a schism. They have made the world deformed and not the way God wanted to be. Mm. 
Now the northwestern schism is on the earth. Mm -mm. And the world is hel Hellenized. Mm -mm. It's a hell of a world now. Mm -mm. Where's the Lord of Happy? Mm -mm. Who had foresaw this and foretold us mm, to conquer these people on the battlefield a long time ago. Not make a friendship with them. Don't make a league with them. These are the people mm -mm, of the land of Canaan I want you to conquer them. Mm. Yeah, originally, those people were slaves mm, to the kings of Canaan. So, mm -mm. And the wars of Nimrod, because Nimrod ruled on the earth. Mm -mm. He conquered the whole known world in his day. Mm. And they were slaves, the Europeans. Mm -mm. Bloodlines became captives to Nimrod for a long time. Mm -mm. And Canaan was one of his mm -mm. younger sons who, no, younger one of his brethren who reigned on the battlefield with him and they had slaves who were European people mm -mm. in the 2100 BC period mm -mm. before the Tower of ba Babel period mm -mm. the Bible second seal second thousand year period of, of man's creation on the earth the time the days of Nimrod mm -mm. which came after the reign of King Khufu mm -mm. who is biblically called Noah mm -mm. The biblical Noah is King Khufu of the first pyramids in Jissa. So, mm. And I was talking about the third pyramid is Menkari. Mm. Men God. Okay, Men sarcophagus lid is on the coast of Cartagena in Spain. Mm -mm. Lost at sea. So these people have really did a number on us. Mm -mm. In our history books and on our historical artifacts and the shit that belongs to our people. Mm. It's all out of orbit, it's all dispersed out of its place. Mm -mm. The old temple of Amon Ra is not intact the way it's supposed to be with every obelisk, one in the Vatican Rome, one in New York City, at, the, at Central Park in New York, mm -mm. which has the name of Tutmos on it, which has the name of Ramesses on it. So, mm -mm. And that's my bloodline. Mm -mm. And they were such a famous people on the earth. Mm -mm. See, the United States built that country off of it. And that's what the the American eagle is supposed to be something on the obelisk. Mm -mm. One of those birds that came out of the land of Egypt. Mm -mm. And Upper Egypt was called Thebes or the best, mm -mm, the best land in Egypt. Mm -mm. Temple of Amon Ra at Karnak, Temple of Amon Ra at Luxor. Mm -mm. That's what the United States has built. Mm -mm. Their Hellenized version of the story mm -mm, on the one dollar bill. Mm -mm. That's what George Washington is looking out of the pyramid thinking. He is the Pharaoh. Mm -mm. I have become Pharaoh. Mm -mm -mm. That's what he became Pharaoh. And he's the replicating, imitating the masters of Kemet. Mm -mm. The last of the e Egyptian Empire's bloodline was Ethiopian. Mm -mm. And then Ethiopians are mixed with Southeast Asia through Persia. So mm, the Persians. And the Mediterranean, the Medes, mm. the Medes and the Persians mm. is the pre-Columbian era of America. And all of those temples in Mexico, mm -mm -mm. Chicao ruins, Tenochtitlan, all of those had Sumerian programs in their architecture. You look at the masonry of the buildings, mm -mm. it's Sumerian. They had Sumerian programs on each step pyramid, ziggurat, or temple they built there. So mm, we know where it goes back to. Mm, Persopolis, mm, the Persians, and the Mediterranean people. And on the, the calendar stone they had found, mm, 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 the point of origin was at the Red Sea. Mm, mm, the Eritrea, 
Eritrean Sea between Ethiopia and the Indian Ocean. And they went east and keep going east. They ended up on the west, and it's a West Side story now. So, mm -mm. The pre Columbian era of America with the oil mix. Mm -mm. It's on the stones of the testimony. Mm -mm. Where the children of Israel are. Mm -mm. The children of Israel come out of the land of Kush with Tutmos. So, mm -mm. And that's what the Ethiopian Empire uh, dynasty in Kemet was about. Mm -mm. The Israelite comes out of the land of Kemet. Mm -mm. And he is no different mm -mm. in appearance than an Ethiopian. So, mm -mm. You know, he's no different. He has the same kind of hair. Mm -mm -mm. And skin complexion, mm -mm -mm. according to what the scriptures say, mm -mm -mm. you are no different mm -mm than the children of the land of Cush. So, mm -mm. Israel, mm -mm. my people, mm -mm. the Egyptians are my people. Israel is my heritage in Assyria. It's a creature of God's handiwork. So. Mm -mm. And we was going to make a highway and worship God together here. Mm -mm. And that's what I'm here to do. We fist to have a church. Mm -mm. 